Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing a review on my very first pair of Chanel shoes. And this shoe is none other than this very gorgeous Chanel Espadrille. But anyway, before I continue, I just happened to hear noises and it's coming from above. I think someone above is having some renovation works or something. It just basically coincides with my filming. So if you do hear it, I simply apologize and please try to ignore as much as possible. But anyways, back to this pair of shoes. Chanel Espadrille in general has always been in my radar wishlist for years. But I just didn't bear to purchase the shoe. Reason is because of the cost. It's not cheap, okay? I will reveal to you how much I paid for this pair of shoes. And my mentality at that time was that I don't want to pay so much money on a pair of shoes which eventually might be stepped on by people out there. I might be walking on streets that are dirty or I might even step on dog poo. After watching so many unboxing videos, but I decided to take the plunge and go buy one myself. So this pair of shoes was purchased a few months ago and it was not a planned purchase. I was just basically window shopping at Chanel and when I saw this pair of shoes, I just told myself that okay, this is the day I just got to have it. This pair of shoes is from the Paris in Rome Matthias DR 2015-16 collection. The pair of shoes comes in this Chanel shoe box and if you guys are very keen in this pair of shoes, you can try to inform your sales associate all this information because after all this is a seasonal design so I guess they might not be able to have it so it's a very sturdy you know shoe box and when you remove the cover you will see this and these are basically dust bags or shoe bags in my shoe box I received two of this which it makes sense because you know one shoe for each bag I think it's very convenient to bring this along if you decided to bring these shoes you know overseas or wherever you guys are going and besides those two pieces of dust bags inside are all just tissue papers and stuffings so if you guys follow the Paris in Rome Matthias the art collection you will notice that there are a whole variety of colors of materials that are so attractive and for myself I was torn between two different colors of espadrilles which I did post a picture on my Instagram this was the one that I eventually chose because of one significant problem prominent CC logo. The CC logo over here and the front part are all velvet and this grey part here it's tweed material which is very very unique. So the shoe looks basically like this and the front is like that. The side looks something like this and the back is like that. I have to give credit to the workmanship of this pair of shoe. It's really flawless the sewing and all i cannot deny that you really get what you pay for and the base is something like that please excuse the dirty base because i do use this shoe very often so the design of the base is very simple check like design and you will see that there's the word chanel more check like designs and at the base there is the chanel logo if you are wondering whether does this shoe provide adequate friction you don't have to worry about it because it's very good my size is over here i took a size 40 which i will explain to you about the sizing later for the interior this is how it looks like um it's all leather very soft leather and if i were to press it this way you will see that you know the sides collapse very easily if i'm not wrong it's half leather i might be wrong but i just have this impression that it's calf leather or yeah or lambskin and inside it says Chanel, the Chanel logo, and the shoe is made in Spain. Hope you guys can see that. Back to the sizing. 
I am typically a size 39, but I do go a half size or maybe a one size larger if it is a closed toe shoe. When I was trying this pair of shoes, I did tell the SA that I might be a 39 and a half or a 40. But unfortunately, they do not come in half sizes. So the only two pairs that she brought out was the 39 and the 40. So when I tried the 39, it does feel a bit snug. When I walked around the store, I know that that wasn't the right pair for me. And I don't think I want to buy a pair of shoe which is in the wrong size. After all, I am paying so much money for it. I tried the size 4 and it fits me really nicely. In the front part, there was maybe like, you know, a thumb of a distance or maybe half a thumb. Not a thumb, half a thumb. Um, of allowance in the front so it makes it really comfortable we SA did tell me that you know after wearing this shoe for quite a while you will notice that the material will start to be a bit more seasoned if you know what I mean but yeah I do go a size larger so if you guys are interested to purchase you know espadrilles from Chanel I would really advise that you guys go to the store try it out and uh, you know make sure that you know it really fits you well because after all you are paying a lot for shoes like this the main question is how much did i pay for this pair of gorgeous shoes this pair of shoes cost me 840 singapore dollars you guys must be wondering are you crazy to be spending almost a thousand dollars on a pair of shoes you have to know that we are paying for the brand. It's Chanel, okay? It's not some random brand that you can find along the streets. I guess the next question is whether, you know, after paying so much money, how do you find the shoes? Is it comfortable enough? Is it worth paying so much for a shoe that looks very similar to some other shoes from the other brands that cost half the price or even lesser? In terms of the comfort, I would say that it is definitely above average, but it's not the most comfortable shoes that I've ever worn. You can wear this shoe and walk, you know, the entire day. You won't get any, you know, blisters or aching feet or anything but it still doesn't offer that comfort that I was really looking at the soles for example it is quite hard so if you're looking at comfortable shoes you're thinking of shoes that have you know quite soft sole that has you know some support this pair of shoe does not have that kind of support the next thing in your mind is whether is this shoe easy to maintain or do i need to do some additional steps to make sure that the velvet or the tweed stays you know in perfect condition i have never done any maintenance on this pair of shoes even for the sole i've been using it a couple of times it is dirty but you know i still do not even bother to take a cloth to wipe it. You may want to be very careful about this part because after all, you're talking about velvet and tweed material. And let me share with you this case whereby I accidentally have chicken soup poured on the shoe. And it's actually on the tweed side. I was like so panicky at the time because I know that, you know, once there are stains on this material, the tweed side, it can be really challenging to have it removed. But luckily, it was a clear chicken soup. So there wasn't a very significant stain. Another thing that really helped me a lot was the color because this is grayish in color so if you do have some significant stain it will not be very very obvious back to the question on whether is it really worth it to spend so much money on this pair of shoes well i would say that it is definitely worth i did not get the comfort that i want but i managed to satisfy my personal luxury wish list which is to own a pair of Chanel Espadrille. Will I be purchasing more Chanel Espadrille in the future? I would say maybe. This is really a pair of shoes that you guys can really consider getting it in your collection. That's it for my review on this beautiful pair of shoes. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and of course with that, have a great day. Bye!